The following presentation is made possible by the generosity of the viewers of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls in Chicago. Good morning and welcome to Sunday Mass at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family. My name is Dan Riley. I'm joined by Patrick Holland and our celebrant is Father Jason Malave. Of the Father's love begotten, ere the worlds began to be, He is Alpha and Omega, He the source, the ending He. Of the things that are, that have been, and that future years shall see. Evermore and evermore. Friends, we mark our prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. We gather together to celebrate the Holy Family. It was just last week that we celebrated Christmas, and now we celebrate the Holy Family of Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. As we celebrate this Holy Family, as we remember our own Holy Family, let us be mindful of the ways we've loved and those we've failed to love. You heal the suffering and sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You comfort the downtrodden. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you welcome us into the kingdom of paradise to be with you forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us gather our prayers, friends. Let us pray. O oh God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, Graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Hannah conceived, and at the end of her term, she bore a son, whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The next time her husband, Elkanah, was going up with the rest of the household to offer customary sacrifice to the Lord and to fulfill his vows, Hannah did not go, explaining to her husband, once the child is weaned, I will take him to appear before the Lord and to remain there forever. I will offer him as a perpetual Nazarite. Once Samuel was weaned, Hannah brought him up with her along with a three-year-old bull, an epa of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him to the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood near you here praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. Hannah left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed 
Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork, blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God, and so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. What we do know that is that has been revealed is that we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what he pleases. And his commandment is this. We should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. My sisters and brothers, friends, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. May the word of God be always in our minds, and our lips, and in our hearts. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. But when his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. He said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not know what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, you, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to be with you today 
as we celebrate the Holy Family and next week as we celebrate Epiphany and the following week when we celebrate the baptism of Jesus. What a great joy to be with you three weeks in a row. And my homilies will build upon themselves. Uh, so make sure you tune in for the next two weeks. It was actually uh, just about two months ago, the feast of All Souls Day, November 2nd. It was that feast day on November 2nd that my grandmother uh, went home to the Lord. Now, you know, obviously we're saddened by that, but she, she had 95 wonderful years, 95 years, and uh, uh, lived a wonderful life and gave, even gave us a couple extra years in the past two years when we thought she was going to pass two years ago. She gave us two more years to be able to be with her and, and relish in these last years of her life. What a great celebration of her life. What a great woman. What I realized is that in our family, we find our identity. What do I mean by that? I mean that with my grandmother's passing two months ago, I have to go to my aunts and uncles now if I have any questions. If I want to know more about my, great, about my grandfather or great-grandparents, I have to go to my aunts and uncles. It is in our parents, it is in our grandparents, it is amongst our brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles and cousins, that we all find out kind of who we are. We're, neither, we're nothing but then brothers and sisters to our siblings, children to our parents, uh, grandchildren to our grandparents. I talk about identity because today in the gospel we hear Jesus learning more about his identity. He went to Jerusalem with his family, had a wonderful visit in Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover, and uh, found himself very much called to stay in the temple and to engage in questions and answers with the teachers and those temple officials. He found himself growing closer and closer into his identity as a good Jewish boy, but also as God's son among us. Jesus found his identity as he went with his family to the feast of the Passover. I also want to suggest that we find our identity, especially as we heard from the letter of St. John. He reminded us that we are children of God. We are. And if we're children to God, and Jesus is God's son, we're also brother and sister to Jesus. Friends, that is our identity, children of God and brothers and sisters to Jesus. And further, if I push that even further, not only children of God and brothers and sisters to Jesus, but we're also called Jesus' disciples. And as Jesus' disciples, we're called to, to follow him. In everything that we do, we're called to follow Jesus. As disciples, a good definition for me is somebody who prays well, who serves with their whole heart, and who shares their faith and all that they have with others. Is that what we're doing in, in our identity as Jesus' disciples? Are we praying well? Are we serving well? Are we sharing all that we have? It's a simple definition that I like to remind myself as I remember that I am Jesus' disciple and his brother and a son of God. Let us relish in our identity as Jesus relished in his identity. Let us relish in ours. Amen? Let us offer then our prayers and petitions before our generous God, asking God to hear us and answer us. Our response to each prayer will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father and all the leaders of the Catholic Church, may they continue to inspire peace and justice throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are feeling lost and alone, during this holy time, may, they, may their hopes, prayers, and dreams become realized in the upcoming year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who so generously support Mercy Home for Boys and Girls, may they come to understand the deep gratitude of our youth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who are ill, may their hearts and health be strengthened with the hope and joy of this holy season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Generous and compassionate God, hear the prayers of your faithful people. In your mercy and love, grant these prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord. 
God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it'll become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine, the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrary heart, we have accepted the Lord and your sacrifice for sacrifice. And so, sisters and brothers, friends, pray that my sacrifice, in fact, your sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the may Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good, good and the good of all his holy, holy, holy church. church. We offer you, Lord, we offer you the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and St. Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus our Lord. For on the feast of this awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours. And begotten, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time. So that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember especially our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And finally, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we have the courage to pray together. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, who heaven, art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, thy, be name. thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be, done be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us give this us day our, our daily bread and forgive, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. Lead us lead not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. And on behalf of everyone here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls, please know of my prayers for you and your family, your holy family. Please know of our prayers for you for peace. Peace be with you. Sisters and brothers, behold, behold the Lamb of God in whom we have our identity as Christians, as Catholics. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof, but only, but only say, say the word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for everlasting life.
Friends, please join me in praying the prayer for the children of Mercy Home. Our Lady, Lady of, Mercy, of Mercy, we pray we that pray you will guide, guide, protect, and bless, and bless all boys and girls, and girls who this day have a home, home called Mercy. Mercy. May, they May they find the, the Father's Mercy as we, we offer them our hearts in the name of your Son, Son Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. May, they May they see God's mercy in action through our prayer, love, prayers and, and sacrifices. sacrifices. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to intimate, constant, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May our generous and loving God bless us always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended, friends. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Folks, I'm so fortunate that all of us pray together each Sunday. Can you imagine what the power of prayer does for all those who are sick, elderly, and homebound? I want to thank you for all that you do for the TV Mass here at Mercy Home for Boys and Girls. Please continue to support our good efforts, and may God bless you for all you do. The music for the broadcast of Sunday Mass at Mercy Home is generously provided by GIA Publications Incorporated and its World Library Publications Division.